In this question, we're given two circles which are concentric circles, and you're told it that they are concentric in the information in the question. Concentric circles. That means they're two circles, same center for both, but they've got a different radius in each case. So you get this effect with one lying inside the other. You also tell that the area shaded in the picture, so this area shaded here, is 32 square centimeters. So in the picture, if I just mark this on in the picture, so that shaded area is 32 square centimeters. And you're told that the large circle radius is 10 centimeters. So from there to there, very quickly, is 10. And you're also told the small circle radius is 6. So from there to there, is 6. So that's the information you're told. Now based on all that information, you're asked to work out the, the perimeter of the shape ABCD. Well, ABCD, if I just go over this shape here, from A to B to C to D, from A to B, here it is, to C, and then D was in that corner, if you remember, D was there. So this is the shape I'm going over, and that's the shape which actually has the area of 32. And you need to work out the perimeter of that shape. Right, so, obviously now, to work out perimeter, you need to work out the four different distances for this particular shape. So you'd add that distance, that distance, that distance, and that distance. Now before we do that, you're going to have to make use of that figure there. So I'm going to consider that figure first, and then we'll go back to the perimeter in a minute. So the area shaded, so if I write down underneath, area shaded, and you were going to work out from scratch what the area shaded is. It's the large sector, and if you subtract the small sector away from the large sector, so if I work out the area of the small sector, that, that shaded bit there, and I take it away from the area of the big sector, I'll be left with what I want, which is the shaded area. So it's the large sector, subtract the small sector. Well, if you think about it, we do know that the area shaded, you're told, is 32. So I can replace that with 32. The area of the large sector from your work that you've done earlier is half. Now, I'll call it big R squared theta because it's the large sector. So half R squared theta, but I'll call it big R squared theta. Take away a half little r squared theta for the area of the small sector. Okay, let's put numbers in. So you get 32 is equal to a half of, now big R, big radius was 10, given, so that's 10 squared, times theta, I don't know what theta is. Theta was given in the picture, in the question, that's a general theta. Leave it alone for now. Take away a half, small radius is 6, so that's 6 squared times theta. So we get that. So we get 32 is equal to 10 squared is 100, half of 100 is 50 theta, take away, 6 squared is, 80, uh, is 36, half of 36 is 18, thinking ahead there, you get that. So we end up with 32 equals 32 theta. Divide by 32 and you get a nice convenient answer that theta must be 1 radian, which is about 57 degrees, but we'll keep it in radian, so 1 radian. So the area shaded to be 32 that was given in the picture, together with these radius figures, enable you to work out that the radius, the angle at the center was one radian. Now I know that, I am going to be able now to work out what I want, which is the perimeter of that shape. So if I just bring the picture back down into view, the perimeter of this shape is made up of four different sides. So if I start there and I work my way around the outside of this shape, I need that straight side, then that curve, then that straight side, then that curve. Well, it's not difficult. If you think about it, the two straight sides are very easy. From there to there is 10, from there to there is 6. So that small straight bit there must be 4. And that small straight bit there must be 4 for the same reason. So we've got two 4s for the straight sides. And from there to there is the length of the arc of the big sector. So for now I'll just call it r theta from s equals r theta. And from there to there is the length of the arc of the small sector, which is little r theta for the small sector. So if I now go back to my calculation, 
and say, right, okay, so if I move it up a bit, the perimeter will be, okay, well, you've got four different numbers to add up. You've got the four plus the big r theta plus the four plus the small r theta. So let's go back here and write it. Four plus big r theta plus another four plus little r theta. So the perimeter will be four plus, now go back here, big R area of, sorry, large circle radius, big R was 10. So we've got 10 times theta. Well, theta, we just found that in the calculation above. So that's one plus four plus little r. The small radius, if you remember, going back was six. So six was the little radius times theta, same angle theta, one radian, so you get that calculation. So let's finish off by saying that the perimeter then of this shape that we're looking for is 4 plus 10 is 14, plus 4 is uh, 18, plus 6, 24, and we're in units centimetres. So there you go, there's the perimeter of that shape. So find the theta value first, and then that enables you to work out the perimeter. That's the end of this question.